Major new developments tonight involving the documents that Metro wanted to keep secret. Tonight, 13 Action News has them. Hundreds of pages connected to the one October investigation have been released and police found some really odd items in the shooter's hotel room. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live near the strip with details on that. Joe. Yeah, Steve and Trisha, Metro Police fought for months to keep those documents secret. They do provide a lot of new details, including a person possibly connected to this case by the name of Douglas Haig. That, according to the Review Journal tonight. Now, while the documents don't provide any clear motive, they do provide a lot of insight into the planning of a madman. At 276 pages, it's one of our best looks yet of the methodical investigation police launched just minutes after the bullet stopped on October 1st. It was the hotel room on the 32nd floor at Mandalay Bay that gave police their early leads. According to the documents, in addition to the arsenal of weapons, police found more than 5,000 rounds of live ammo, 1,000 bullet casings. But some of the more odd items include 54 towels, a portable solar generator, bear mace, two personal massagers, and this tubing with a snorkel mouthpiece, funnel, and a fan attached. It's interesting. I, I would assume that it was um, in preparation for um, tear gas or some other chemical agent that would that would be inserted into the room. 13 Action News crime and safety expert retired Las Vegas Metro Police Lieutenant Randy Sutton says it's clear the shooter's planning was extreme. The documents also show in the early days of the investigation, police thought there must have been multiple people involved over a course of months based on the size and scope of the tragedy. Since then, Metro Police Sheriff Joe Lombardo has been very clear. He thinks to this point, Stephen Paddock is the only one who carried out the attack. So what's next in all this? We know that there is a federal grand jury process that's underway right now against someone connected to the shooting, but because that process is secret, we don't know when and if those charges will be coming down. Metro police also expect to release a final report on the one October shooting sometime later this year. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. And documents also showed investigators found three cell phones inside Stephen Paddock's room. Investigators combed through records and found eight different phone numbers associated with Paddock and his girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. Now, they have also asked Google to provide details on searches Paddock made for mobile devices, but some of those requests have gone unanswered. The judge has also ruled the coroner's report related to the shooting must be released. That includes the autopsy draft for the gunman, Stephen Paddock, and records for all 58 victims. It's not known when the final autopsy report for Paddock will be finished. The coroner has already said all 58 victims died of gunshot wounds. And we have an entire list of the unusual items investigators found inside Stephen Paddock's hotel room and vehicle the night of the shooting. You can also view the pictures Metro released of the crime scenes earlier this month. Just head to our website at KTNV.com. It's under the Las Vegas shooting section.